So in this particular video, we will be continuing with our uh, uh, topic of convolutional uh, CNN con 2D. So basically, it is the convolution layer. And in the last video, we had covered in channels, out channels, kernel size, and stride. So today we will be primarily focusing on padding and dilation and all those things. Um, let's see if we are able to do groups also as well. Uh, otherwise, you know, we'll, we'll keep that for the next particular video. Okay. So um, again, we will start with padding in this particular video today. Okay. So I hope you have already seen the first video of this uh, convolution. And so um, what is padding? Now, generally speaking, it's very easy. Padding is uh, so, you know, sometimes it happens that you have an image. Okay and uh, the image is of uh, let's say height cross width okay um, assuming the channel if the channels is just uh, let's say c comma h comma uh, w the channels we don't care here okay um, even though you can pad channels but uh, we don't care generally speaking we only care about the height and width okay now it can happen that you don't want height and width to be h and w you want h plus 2 and width plus uh, let's say 1 okay so this is what you want okay so let's say this is plus four and this is plus two so that you know it, it can be even on both sides which means on the height front that is in this front you want two channels above uh, not two channels basically two rows above that is two and two rows down so that is two plus two equal to four so this is the four that comes out okay you cannot have two up and one down okay even though you can i'm not saying that you can technically can't i'm not saying that you can but generally we don't okay and if you have w plus one means we which means you have one width over here one width over here so what you can do is let's say your image is like that let's say your image is like that you can add certain uh things over here now it can be zeros also it can be zeros also uh, it can also be, you know, uh, it can also be, let's say, something as uh, uh, other numbers. Let's say you uh, copied this particular, uh, sorry, this particular row above and this particular row be, uh, below, and then copied this entire column over here and in this entire column over here. Okay. In both the cases, the, uh, the let's say the initial image was three cross three. Now it will become five cross five. Why? Because you have uh, added one uh, column here, one column here. So three were already there and two more uh, added. So that is three plus two. And here again, uh, three were there and then you added two over here, one over here and one over here. So now that is also three plus two. So that's that is five cross five. Okay. So this is the idea. Now the the topic of padding basically is what are we going to add? Right. We are sure that we are going to add something. What are we going to add? Are we going to add zeros or we are going to add these particular uh, or uh, let's say these particular numbers that I'm circling right now, these three numbers, we are going to add them like that. And then same thing over here. Uh, so these numbers over here will be copied over here. And then finally, this entire column will be copied over here. What do you want to do? You just want to add zeros or you want to use this particular column. Or you want to use this particular column. What you want to do is the study over here we'll be focusing on. Okay. So uh, let me start with the first one. That is, um, let me start with here. That is padding equal to zero. Okay. So padding equal to zero. So if you look here, if you come down, okay, you can see padding here. So what is padding? Padded to all four sides of the input that is over here. I showed you all four sides. Uh, default is zero okay now if you go a little above you can see something that is written when they say padding is equals to valid so you know you if you look over here padding can be int padding can be tuple and it can be string as well so if it is int uh, or let's first do the string one okay so if uh, if uh, padding equal to valid valid is a string as you can see it's a you know character it's a com combination of characters so you can say yes it's a string so uh, padding is equals to valid when you say what you are essentially saying is there is no padding which means whatever was the initial size if it was uh, 3 cross 3 it is going to remain as the as it is no padding will be added so that is padding equal to valid okay that is padding equal to valid now what happens if you say padding equal to same okay padding equal to same over here is basically you are saying that whatever is the initial let's say three cross three i am going to add some amount of padding so say like n n layers of padding n rows and uh, uh, let's say n by two rows n is even okay n by two rows and uh, let's say m by two columns whatever it is i don't care the final image after the convolution is going to be three cross three only 
which means whatever was the initial size it's going to be final size it's say the same is going to be the final size okay so um, when you say padding equal to same it pads the input it pads the input that is this is the input it pads the input so that the output has the same shape as the input that's what i told over here okay this is ha having the same shape as this however this does not uh, this does not support any stride value other than 1 so we have already seen stride this is only valid for s equal to 1 so this is something that you need to remember okay now we are done with uh, string because there are only two values either uh, valid or same now what if it is an int so when you need to go over here so for the kernel size for the stride and for the padding if i have not uh, said this in the last video then i need to uh, i know i will say it again one more time either you can give a int or you can give a tuple so when you give a let's say kernel size only okay when you say kernel size equal to three it means it will generate a kernel which is three cross three however if you say kernel size kernel size is equals to 5 comma 3 it will generate a, a kernel that is going to have five rows and three columns okay so three columns and five rows okay uh, so this is how it is going to generate so it is 5 cross 3 so, okay so if you say 3 if you give an integer it will become 3 cross 3 but if you give a tuple then obviously whatever the tuple is given that is there so here it is saying either you can the same logic applies to padding also so if you say padding equal to padding equal to 3 it basically or let's say 2 for our simpler understanding it will just say that i am going to add that many or to say uh, let's say zeros okay so 1 2 3 1 2 3 that many zeros were added in the row that many zeros will be added in the column and then the entire thing will be like this so it will be copied okay so this entire um, thing will be copied over here and this many zeros will be added so let me just complete it and then i'll again explain so that uh, it's clearly understood okay so what has happened is if you look at the rows how many rows have increased two in the top and two in the bottom so that's padding equal to two okay padding equal to two if it is padding equal to one one row over here one row over here one column over here one column over here padding equal to two is two rows over here and two columns also you can see columns also has increased in the over here that is equal to two here and here so now if if initially the uh, image was three cross three if you remember this is three cross three now it has become seven cross seven okay i hope you understand now what if you say instead of uh, let me um, create some space over here now what you let's say you said padding equal to 2 comma 1 okay so if you say padding equal to 2 comma 1 the first int is used for the height dimension so whatever let's say the height dimension is let's say we are having 3 cross 3 itself the height dimension is this so 2 will be added 1 2 3 1 2 3 similarly down 1 2 3 1 2 3 so these are uh, you can see two uh, since this was two in the height dimension two rows of zeros are added two rows of zeros are added but you are saying here one for column so only one column will be added you see over here only one column is added so I hope you understand the meaning. Okay. So this initially it was three cross three. Now it has become seven cross uh, five. Right. So I hope you are able to understand that. And um, let me go and uh, so yeah. I hope you understood padding. Okay. Now we'll go into padding mode. And I think I'll end with that only because I, I'll need another video for dilation in groups. Um, so I will I, I will talk about padding mode again this only can be string okay so let's say the padding modes are zeros uh, replicate uh, re reflect replicate or circular okay so for that i have uh, written some code and we will be getting into all of that let's start with zeros which is also the default okay so what happens when you say padding mode equal to zero you say padding you say padding mode equal to zero okay or let's say not just zeros zeros because it's a string right so when you say padding mode equal to zero you can go over here 
okay and uh, i have created a simple image let's say torch dot a range is a range is basically going to create uh, numbers from 1 to 10 so that's 0 uh, sorry 1 to 9 but because 10 is not included and then reshape it in the form 1 cross 1 cross 1 comma uh, 3 cross 3 so 3 cross 3 this is height dimension this is width dimension this is channel and this is the uh, what to say a batch okay so let's talk about let's talk about adding equal to 0 this is simple that i have already explained if this is the size 3 cross 3 it will just say how many uh, what to say how many um, uh, let's say int equal let's say padding equal to 1 okay padding is different from padding mode okay padding equal to 1 that you have seen in the uh, previous section in this particular video itself we saw right padding equal to 1 we have seen so what will do it will just pad zeros one row and one column uh, above and below and uh, left side and right side so this is this is your padding mode equal to zero now you can also look over here you just take this particular image you can see uh, if you just uh, go over here and then you say image image one you just print it over here you can see the image that we will have it's one two three four five six and then seven eight nine it's a simple image okay this is a three cross three image only to explain you the logic after that what you will see is that we have created over here um, uh, so and functional dot pad so the, we, this will uh, show you what padding is and instead of zeros I have just uh, you know this one does not take zeros it takes constant because uh, here you can also instead of zero this is the default value you can put any value you can put 0 0.3 uh, 0 0.36 or whatever you want to put you can put but since uh, in our nn.com2t the, that is not the case we have to use uh, zero over here why because in uh, uh, our com2t only zeros is there okay so what I have done is I have written zero and the constant okay because we want a constant padding and here it's a little bit different here it says top row okay top uh, bottom row uh, top uh, left column and uh, right column or whatever it is it just means a top and bottom that's it okay top and bottom and this means a left and right okay so um, I think you can even see over here if it is not there if that is not the case we can um, so even if it is not there it does not matter because that is not our point you know we, uh, studying functional dot pad is not our uh, idea so what you can see what we have done is there is one row on top one row in the bottom okay so this is taken care of and then one cross one which means there is one column over here you can see um, the zeros column I cannot point it with my cursor zeros column is over here and zeros column is over here also which means all four direction because all four were one uh, we have a constant padding so this is what I meant by that and you can also see the shape from 3 cross 3 it has become 5 cross 5 okay after that you have reflect now if you go down a little bit so reflective is simple okay what you do is basically what you do is you take this particular um, so let me show you an example over here so let's say padding mode equal to reflect so you say padding mode equal to reflect okay so let's say you have an image let's say you have an image and this time I'm going to take a 3 cross 3 image the, uh, the same one that we have in an example and I'm going to say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so what happened 9 over here okay so when you have uh, in the reflective what you do let's say we are filling values over here and let's say padding equal to 2 padding is different from padding mode I have already said that okay so what it does is it takes this particular uh, row as the pivot or whatever you know it is there as a mirror it uses a mirror okay and what it does is it copies the other two side so if this is the mirror this is closer to the mirror the four the second row is closer to the mirror so what will happen is this row will be copied then seventh this 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 particular row this part the third row is a little farther from this row so again it will go up on the top okay same logic over here in the bottom part this will become our uh, mirror this particular row will become our mirror so what is closer what which row is closer to this this four five six row so it will be copied four five six again one two three is farther from the mirror so it will become one two and three okay once this is done one uh, the rows are done we need to go to the column now this is the pivot this particular column is the pivot so what you do this particular column is closer to this so we just fill it over here 8 5 2 5 8 5 2 and this particular column is farther 
so we will put out over here 96369 and uh, uh, I'm sorry this particular one uh, yeah this uh, uh, that's correct that's correct and 6 and 3 I hope you are understanding I have your hope you are understanding okay so this was farther so it went far now in this case on the right side this will be our uh, what to say mirror or pivot this particular column is closer so we will say 8 5 2 5 8 so basically copying this 5 2 and then this particular column is uh, farther okay so what I'm going to say 7 4 1 4 7 7 4 and 1 so this is our final image in reflective let's go and see an example over here as well okay so um, I have taken this, this the, the, another image but basically the same image it will be also uh, it will be also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so I'm going to say image 2 and hit shift and enter you can see again same thing 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 7 and 7 8 9 okay now instead here what I'll do I'll put everything as 2 2 2 2 just to make sure that we are able to see and I'm going to put reflect because reflective is what we are learning over here. So our image is in the center. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What had happened is we first, uh, we, this, this particular row was taken as our, uh, what to say, mirror. So what happens? This, this row, 4, 5, 6 is closer to this. So it will be reflected over here. And then 7, 8, 9 is there. It is a little bit farther. Then it is reflected over here. And same thing here. And then same thing for the columns as well. Okay. And uh, you can see the shape it has in from the 3 cross 3 now it has become 7 cross 7 okay you could also use 1 1 1 1 but doesn't matter after that what you have is replicate now replicate is also very very simple okay so if you have padding mode if you have padding mode as uh, replicate okay this one is also very very simple i'll actually show you the example so replication padding okay what happens is what you do is over here you take the last particular row and then uh, replicate so uh, let's say we again have an image that is over here we have an image that is the same image so it's one two three four five six seven eight and nine so what happens is first you do the rows and let's say padding equal to two so padding equal to 2 so what will happen this particular row is the closest to there so it will be copied 1 2 3 and and since padding equal to 2 one more row will be copied so what is the closest to this 7 8 9 so you will copy 7 8 9 again since padding equal to 7 8 9 again what is the co uh, column closest to this so this particular column is closest so it will just copy the column 1 1 1 4 7 7 7 and since padding is 2 again it will be copied one more time 4 seven seven and seven okay same story goes here for this column this particular column is the closest so you'll have three 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 six nine 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 and same thing because padding is two three 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 six nine nine and nine so this is your final image so three cross three has now become seven cross seven okay so again so that is there now circular now circular is again not very difficult what you do is basically you take this uh, particular image and then what you do is you copy you basically so what happens is uh, since this let's say con let's consider this okay one two three what it will do it will totally copy this particular uh, since padding uh, this uh, padding equal to two it will copy seven uh, sorry four five four five six and seven eight nine from here and then paste it over so four five six and seven eight nine same story over here so this is our um, uh, row in consideration it will take the first uh, uh, it will it will take the first one two three from here and then four five six from here and copy it over here one two three and four five six so once that is done what it will do now look, move to the column so since this was uh, already made we have to create these two so what will do it will take this entire row so this row uh, the, the, the entire row which I cannot make over here this row is taken and then placed over here and then this row is taken and placed over here okay so I hope you are able to understand this this is also not very difficult okay so again you can do like that now let's see what, what else we have so padding is covered after padding you have dilation okay so dilation what you do is dilation again is, here also it says 
dilation controls the spacing between kernel points it's also known as the uh, whatever this strauss algorithm it's harder to describe but this link has a nice visualization so we'll go to that link and trust me it really it, it really has a little bit of a uh, difficult to visualize kind of a stuff so this is dilated convolution okay what happens is you can see over here this the correlation there are some spaces between the uh, so the darker blue and the lighter blue okay so if i can uh, click this yeah it opens clearly so there is a difference between uh, there is a separation over here there's a there's some spacing between the kernel elements okay so you can see there is darker blue and uh, lighter blue so it is not focusing like for example uh, you, you can see over here okay let me draw it only so this kernel initially when we say 3 cross 3 is like this uh, there is some value over here the value over values are here but what if i am saying dilation here in this dilation equal to dilation equal to one i hope that it's dilation equal to one let me go back okay let me go back a second let me go back a second and here i think the value dilation is one but what happens if dilation is not equal to one okay so what happens when you don't have dilation equal to one you don't have dilation equal to one let's say you have dilation equal to two what happens it will become bigger and now you will have five one two three four okay and again you'll have this one two three four again one two three four again over here one one two three and four and last one over here you'll have one two three four now here what will happen is there will be some there is dot there's nothing over here there is dot there's nothing over here there's dot nothing over here and this is dilation equal to two which means whenever there is int it will be converted at the same double two cross two which means nothing over here 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 so what mean what happens is the receptive field is expanded right the receptive field is expanded so this is your and the, the normal convolution will happen over here as you can see the normal convolution is happening okay so um i think i'll i'll keep it till here in the next video we'll be doing the other stuff i think uh, what is it groups is left groups is left and uh uh yeah i think bias is equal to truth or it's not that difficult i think groups is left but you know uh that is one concept and and, and i also have to cover this so these two things i'll be covering in the next video so yeah please uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you very much and